Hello everyone. Uh, happiness. Right, let's have a look at question 2.2. .2. So this is a, an example of an indeterminate problem. We've in effect got this point here hinged, this point hi here hinged. So I need an additional equation <coughs> to solve it. This problem is basically just a pain. Okay, it's a pain because we've got one, two, three, four sections to work out. So we've got to work out what the internal forces are at each in particular section. Okay. Once we've worked out the uh, uh, all those um, forces of those inter uh, and those internal sections, we can use then this formula here to work out how the overall beam is going to be extended, and we're going to set this to zero because we've hinged it and we aren't expecting it to move and uh, that would be job done that would mean I can then find the reactions at the hinges is that what it's asking me to do yeah just all it wants me to do is find what the reactions are at A and B so there's no particular advantage whether we are going to go from bottom to top or from top to bottom have a reaction at the bottom RB reaction at the top RA and we've got this load here of 300 kilonewtons and this load here of 600 kilonewtons these particular sections are all the same length and they're all 150 millimeters long so if you imagine you do your first free body diagram so you're going to take a cut through the body uh, we'll call this section 1 and that will then expose the internal force F1 will be going up just like that against RB which will be going off in that direction Okay. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing when we go up another section uh, we go into this region here, so that'd be my F2. And then I'm going to have that 600 coming down, and my RB going down like that. And then I go up a bit more. Got my RB, got my 600 here and then I'm into section F3 so I've, I've got a change in geometry so I've got, I'm going to assume that there's something special happening between that change and then when I go above the force at the very top I'm now in section F4 I've now got the load 300 coming down 600 coming down and we've got RB going up. Okay, So we've got these four free, free body diagrams uh, which will lead to my equations when I do some forces in the Y direction. And the other one will be the fifth free body diagram is my original one where I can apply that, that um, equation to as well. So let's start there. So that gives me RA take away 600 take away 300 plus RB actually I'm starting from the bottom so that I'll call that RB and that RA so that's zero so that gives me RA plus RB equals 900 okay no big deal no, now let's look at this free body diagram and all we can see is that we've got is that uh, RB is going up uh, and F1 is going up. Now I happen to know that I'm looking for reactions so I'm going to be putting the terms I want to substitute in on the left hand side and that will be the internal forces so I'll rearrange this F1 equals minus RB so I'll rewrite F1 as my variable. Let's have a look at my next diagram 
So then I've got RB going up, minus 600, and then we've got F2 going up. Let's rewrite this so that we can say it in terms of F2. F2 is 600, take away RB. OK, let's do the next one. So the next one actually is exactly the same as this equation. So we've got RB going up, 600 coming down, plus F3 going up. So the only thing that's changing is F2 becomes F3. 600 take away RB. OK. And then the final one here, we'll have RB. And then we've got minus 600, yeah, minus 300, plus F4 equals 0. Let's rearrange this to say F4 equals 900, take away RB. So I've got one, two, three, four equations, uh, um, actually five equations, one, two, three, four, five equations, six unknowns. And the um, my sixth equation, therefore, will be using that the overall beam, the hinges aren't going to move. We're going to apply this. So in this particular case, um, the Young's modulus is staying the same, so we can ignore that. We could cancel it out immediately. But the areas do change, so we need to be careful there. So this equals zero so this is then going to become therefore we've got f1 l1 over a1 so notice i don't need my e plus f2 l2 over a2 plus f3 l3 over a3 plus f4 l4 over a4 equals 0. Alright, so I've got that long equation and I've got all these here which I'm going to substitute into here which will then give me an equation with just RB in it. L1, L2, L3 and L4 are known. A1, A2, A3, A4 are known. Okay. So what's that going to look like? So substituting my First one, second one, third one, fourth one. All right. So substituting the first one, minus RB. L1 is 150. All right, so that's 150. Its area is 400. I can be naughty here and ignore units because they're going to cancel out. So you've got a 400 there. Uh, F2 will be 600 take away RB 150 over 400. And now um, F3 will also be 600 take away RB but the areas got smaller, so that would be 150 divided by, how much is the area getting smaller by? So the area is getting smaller by 250 there. So we've got 250 there. Now F4, and that becomes plus 900, take away RB, 150 divided by 250 equals 0. Right, so we want to bring all our RBs together. RB minus 150, 400. Um, OK, so this times this be minus 150 times 400. Uh, this times this, so that would be minus 150 over 250. This times this, minus 150 over 250. And on the other side, multiply this out and take this over to the right hand side. So that leads me with minus 600 times 150 over 400. 
and then we got this, so that'd be minus 600 times 150 divided by 250. And here we've got 900, let's take that over the other side, so minus 900 times 150 over 250. Okay, so we've got minus on both sides, let's cancel that out. Let's work out what that stuff is on the left and right hand side. So 150 times by 400 times by 2 plus 150 divided by 250 times by 2. So I've got 1.95 on this side. 3, 600 times by 250 divided by 400 plus 600 times by 150 divided by 250 plus 900 times by 150 divided by 250 so 1125 on that side so RB equals 1125 divided by 1.95 so that gives me 277 round it up a bit, kilonewtons. Okie dokie. So now I want to find out what RA is. So RA is going to be this equation. Use this equation. So RA equals 900 take away RB and that's going to be So, 3, 2, 3 kilonewtons. There you go. And then I could, if I wanted to, go back and substitute them in and then find the internal forces and also the internal stresses might be of interest in that particular problem. Okay, so that's uh, question 2.2, how it's done. And there, there's our final answers.